So let's look at the relationship between monosaccharides and disaccharides as our first example. So here I have two glucose molecules, and if I were to join them together, it would involve the removal of water. Joining them together would form a molecule of maltose, and this is a disaccharide. The two glucose molecules uh, in formation of the maltose molecule gives us a glycosidic bond, which I've labeled right here. Now, the removal of the water is referred to as a condensation reaction, and if you wanted to reverse that, you simply add water to split up the maltose back into the glu two glucose molecules, and that is referred to as hydrolysis. The same would be true if you were to form a polysaccharide from a disaccharide and a monosaccharide. The formation would involve a condensation reaction, but the splitting of the polysaccharide would involve hydrolysis. So this time we'll look at the glycerol molecule on my left hand side and the three fatty acid molecules that I'm drawing on the right hand side. This time we're going to remove three molecules of water in the condensation reaction to form a triglyceride. The bond that's formed this time is known as an ester bond and I've labelled it right here. Now I'm hoping you'll start to see a pattern where the joining of monomers, in this case glycerol and fatty acids, to form a polymer, in this case triglyceride, by the removal of water is known as condensation, whereas splitting up the polymers by adding water is known as hydrolysis. So when looking at the relationship between amino acids and dipeptides, you should start to be able to make some predictions now. So here I have the two amino acids, and if I'm going to join them together to form a dipeptide, it's going to involve the removal of water. In this case, I formed the dipeptide, and the bond that was created is known as a peptide bond. As before, the joining of the two monomers and the removal of water in the process is known as a condensation reaction. But if I were to split up the dipeptide by adding water, that would be called hydrolysis. Continuing the pattern, if I were to add a dipeptide and another amino acid to form a polypeptide, this would involve the removal of water and would be known as a condensation reaction. To split up the polypeptide by adding water would be called hydrolysis. Finally, to clarify, it's said in the IB syllabus that you can address this outline standard either by writing out equations with words or chemical formulae, or you could draw it out. 